I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning and welcome to Falcon TV. It's Monday, October 2nd, 2023. I'm Adriana, along with the rest of the FTV crew. Oh, High School, sit back and enjoy your ride. Nice job to Guidance for all their hard work in getting schools here last Friday. Lots of schools presented the other day. Hopefully the juniors and seniors took advantage of the college fair. Always nice when they come to see you. Well, goodbye to September and hello October. Well, many people's minds focus on the big holiday at the end of this month, but before the orange and black comes first, pink. That color is to show support for breast cancer awareness. Often the sports teams will show their support by wearing pink and pink day will be here later this month. If you want to get your pink on, the school store is selling t-shirts and they are available this week until they sell out. And the cost is just $15. Students, if you are taking a dual credit class, this is a reminder that there will be an information session scheduled for today for those taking classes that are dual credit. The final registration and payment information from the district will also be sent out soon. Backed by popular demand, the class of 2025 will be selling fudge for the fall holidays. There are two flavors to choose from. Each flavor is only $20. Fudge will be available for purchase until October 18th. Please see the man who is always right outside the library in the mornings, Mr. Adams or Ms. Miller, for information to order. A poll was taken collecting data across five key categories, congestion, cost, infrastructure, safety, and weather. And after the research was concluded, the NJ was voted worst state to drive in in the country. Do you agree? <laughs> The math club will be making PB&J sandwiches tomorrow on October 3rd during zero period in room 325. If you would like to help out, all are welcome. The sandwiches are sent to the rescue mission. A food delivery rider has been hailed as a hero after he risked his life to save a drowning woman, an act that earned him significant recognition and rewards. What made it more harrowing was that the rescuer jumped 40 feet off a bridge to save her. In the middle of making a delivery while crossing the bridge, he was altered to the woman's predicament by bystanders remarkably when he returned to dry land. His first words were reportedly, my delivery is gonna, going to be late. He was given a medal, a cash prize, and the opportunity to pursue higher education, tuition free, for his act of bravery and kindness. If you see a custodian today, make sure to give them a shout out. Today is National Custodial Workers Recognition Day. For all the workers who operate behind the scenes and all the hard work they do after day, to make everything be nice and tidy. We appreciate all the employees who keep our workplaces, office spaces, and schools across the nation looking the best they can and running smoothly. To all our custodians, thank you so much for all you do.